also happen to be the only one with a Ndebele name. I discovered all these things I discovered much, much later. Others are Joel, others are Joyce, others are Rebecca, so on and so forth. But in my case, I was given a traditional name and I've spoken a lot about names. When people begin to shun their own names, they are lost to people. You are using names whose meanings you don't even know. You are picking them up from a basket. Terrible. If you don't respect your own names, which, by the way, carry a lot of the very question that you posed, it lies part of the answer is in our names. For example, Patisa, what does it mean? What does it mean? It meant all those my mother was failing to, to deliver, to conceive, as it were. Is this was as a puma? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, miscarriages. yeah, miscarriages were happening. Then, when it came to me, they thought the same was going to happen. But my father had gone to Njelele. And I think, well, he told me stories. I still remember. Uh, my, my father was doing exactly what you were telling me about your own grandfather. He was doing the same with us. He would lie on his back, and it's all covered here. And you tell us story after story, and you would sing sometimes. So we learned a lot, including his visit to Njelele. And I suspected, because there had been no children born before I was. So when I was born, they thought I was Patisa mm. Avani. In other words, oh, these, our children die. Mm. This one too would die. That, that's what they thought. But lo and behold, the man turns out to be 70 years of age. Mm. Oh, 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 oh,